All right, welcome to this second video of listing and local search, right? How to, to, how to um, get your business listed in several areas, in, in several online directories is like having basically uh, having free advertising. So let's go ahead and get started with video two of this um, uh, lesson. And today we're going to be talking about why online business listings matter. Right, so learn which listings matters most to customer search engine for products or services on smartphones, computers, or GPS devices. That's what we're gonna do today, right? Um, also, customers are likely to give more weight to business listings that are too accurate and descriptive. That are accurate and descriptive when making purchase and decisions. So um, nowadays, right, listings matters most to customers because they are searching for products and services on the internet and they're using their phones, they are using computers, they are on the go, right? And they might be needing to use it on GPS device, which most cases nowadays a GPS device is, uh, or mobile device as well. So that's why over here say is, is, is very important for um, your business and for your customers to, that your business is listed uh, online. Uh, again, because it's just so convenient for customers why you want to make it inconvenient for customers to find you again if you're already making tons of money you're already so book then i understand but if you are hungry right and still have room to grow then in or need customers right and obviously you want to make it as easy as possible for customers to find you and again customers are likely to give more weight to business listings that are accurate and descriptive when making purchase decisions right because and that's a reflection of your brand so obviously if a business doesn't have the proper accurate information right there it, it gives an indication that uh, how how professional this business is really is it gonna be like that with my order right uh or, or the service that they provide are they gonna like have make it or are i gonna like have fulfilled the order just like they do with their business listing or the business information. So all that is important and comes into fact. Yes, that's a lot to do for a small business owner, but again, you don't have to do it alone, right? And, and again, all this is um, uh, expenses that um, your business um, need to do anyways as a cost of doing business, right? And as your tax person, as your lawyer, see if, 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 if they can, this can even help with uh, uh, a tax break, right? Can this be tax deductible? More than likely, those are tax, uh, business expenses. But again, disclaimer, I'm not CPA, I'm not a lawyer, so don't trust me on what I'm saying. I'm just perhaps suggesting that that's something that could happen and it's best to confirm with your uh, CPA, certified public accountant, or your lawyer. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about which, um, oops, which um, listings sites the mo matters the most for your uh, to your customers? Which sites matter the most to search engine? How to claim or add your companies on Google My Business? How to claim or add your companies on other important directories? And how do you make automate your listing management? So first, um, foremost, uh, so we're talking about which business listing sites matter the most to customers in a search engine. So I'm gonna put these two together because pretty much right what uh, search engines what they do they care about the customers and so what the customers uh, they're gonna go search engines are gonna go with whatever the customers want and they know that information they know that data right because a lot of information a lot of people use their services to find something and so they uh, constantly come uh, gathering that information um, and, and reviewing it so something I like to do is I like to visit this wise, wise uh, website whatspark that c8. Um, what I like to do in there is I like to see what sites are important to my industry and my location. So if I go to resources, um, and obviously think about yourself, right? Think about your, your industry, what industry you are in and what is the norm in that industry? Check with your competitors, check with your, uh, people within the same line of business. What, what are, where are they located? Uh, you can simply do a, a Google search, right? Mechanic and Fairfield. Um, if you do a Google search for, for example, mechanic in Fairfield and see how to repair, let's say they're your competitor. So I want to do what I want to do it. I want to go to Google and put in, uh, auto repair solutions, Fairfield, California. 
and you can kind of see where oops Uh, you can kind of see what 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 locations I like to they are listed. So you you can see they're listed on Yelp. You can see they are listed on this BimmerShops.com. Um, out of Personal Solution Fairfield, you can see they're listed on Groupon. You can see they're listed on RepairPal, uh, MapQuest, right? So that's a great uh, right there. That's a great tool for you to sort of. Um, spy on what your 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 competitors are doing. So if you know there's a top competitor in your local area, figure out what they do, right? Figure out what sites they're listed on, um, and, and try to sort of um, uh, explore or research those options. Um, so again, another free resource I like to use is whitespark.ca. You kind of resources, and then what you're gonna be looking for is citation sources. Uh, by categories, best citation sources by categories, okay? And obviously choose the country. Obviously, if you're in the U.S., choose that. I'm in the U.S., so I'm going to choose that. And it's not very accurate, right? But it gives you uh, other great ideas of, of what to do. Um, so one thing that I like doing, guys, is... Well, first of all, let me finish here. Um, so then you look for your industry, right? Um, accountants, for example, they're over here. The listed accountants, advertising, the listed over here. If you, if you do advertising, if you are an accountant, um, or you can just simply go over here to this scroll, uh, drop down menu and see all the different categories they have, right? They just, uh, they have a long list of categories. So attorneys, see, check out which, which um, categories are good for attorneys or which sites are good for attorneys. Uh, auto repair shops, bell bond, bakery, banks, right? So choose one of these depending on your industry. Beauty salons. Let's see what beauty salons are. are um, what which size of beauty salons are good for beauty salons? So uh, Yelp again, right? Yelp is one of the most powerful ones. Yellow Pages. Almost every industry will recommend Yellow Pages. Facebook. Almost every industry will recommend Facebook. And as you can see, they rank them by order, right? Um, uh, and it says over here, this size appeared 2,762 times in these categories for beauty salons. So that's sort of how they get the ranking, right? Um, depending on the number of people that or businesses that are listing their uh, their business in there. And, and again, you don't need to go through all of this. Just find a few that make sense that you feel that are very powerful in your in your area, and, and start uh, putting your name in there, right? Um, engine's list, I don't know about engine's list for salons, but okay, white pages, Manta, you can just go and check out. Um, and again, if you have um, something installed that is Google Analytics on your website, um, that's information that you're going to uh, gather uh, little by little that's going to tell you, okay, which of these sites are sending uh, traffic to my website uh, as a referral sort of, sort of system and, and that's going to help you in the long run because it's going to help you know, understand where you should focus your energy, time and money, right? So if Yelp is sending me a lot of people to my website, um, then definitely I need to continue to invest into Yelp because it's working, right? Yelp is sending me a lot of people to to my website and um, why not uh, continue to invest into what's already working? That's just an example. So one thing I, I said earlier is that um, I perhaps gonna put a template for you guys together, but what I like doing for uh, my clients in online citations, I like to sort of build a spreadsheet for them first, right? To put in some information. So for example, uh, name of the business, of business, phone number. I like listing all this. The reason why I like doing this is because I have, you know, when you first starting fresh, um, creating your uh, listing into different websites you want to be uh, you want to be a stunner you want to put the same information in all the locations where you're going to be putting the information about your business and, and so one good way to do that is just basically copy and paste information that you already um, created so that it's the same one everywhere and again that's going to help you because one little error made through of uh, uh, it could be the difference between being in the first page and, and appearing in the second page all right, so name of business, and what I mean by that would be in the first page on Google or any other search browse engine or being in the second page. Obviously, if you are in the first page on any search engine where people are looking for something, you have a higher chance to uh, for that people to research more about your business, right? 
Um, not a lot of people, not a lot of people tend to go to the second page and they not even mention about their four or fifth pages. Um, so yeah. So name of business, phone number, address, website, um, description, email, uh, what else? Um, keywords, if uh, just in case some use that. So those are some of the things that I like to put it together. And then I like to put the um, the website where I have a business listed. I like to put the the link of my website, right? Of the website where it's listed. So for example, Yelp at whatever X name of a business, uh, or for example, facebook.com forward slash uh, whatever name of a business. Um, the login, if I need to, right? Um, that way I can have that information, the password, right? Um, that way I have a file ready for me to put together that I can either use for myself, I can hand out to my employers to take over this for me, I can hand out to an agency to take over, over for me, um, or, or an agency is more than likely I'm gonna give you a file like this one or a template like this one uh, where they're gonna list all the information that of the different websites they have your, your business listed so that you can control it. Um, at some point if you need to. So website, again, that's the name of the website. It's a Yelp.com or it's a Facebook.com, um, right? Facebook.com uh, link, right? So for example, Yelp.com forward slash um, ABC, ABC company uh, login, right? What's your login that you created for that company? What's the password? Um, so that's sort of the template that I like to put in together for my bus the business that I work with. All right, so where are we now? Well, we spent a lot of time in just uh, which sites of these two, right? So again, um, these two, I'm going to combine it basically. Whatever customers, uh, whatever sites are matter the most to customers is the same whatever sites the search engines like the most because the search engines are all about a good customer experience or so whatever customers care uh, and like. It matters to customers that the, the search engine are going to co concentrate into uh, the same parameters. So how to claim or add your company on Google My Business. So Google My Business is one of the first things you should have your business listed on. Okay, And, and, and then you should uh, base your other online directory citations based on whatever you put on Google My Business. Again, why? Because Google My Business is one of the most powerful search engine out there and obviously um, one of the top um, trust factors uh, out there, right? So <clears throat> all you do is, again is simply go go search for Google My Business, then Google My Business, stand out, go ahead and click on that. Sign in. When you sign in, you'll have to log in with whatever email address you are uh, uh, set up for your Gmail account. If you don't have a, a, a Gmail account, they're free to set up. So just go on, set up one. I will actually recommend you to do this through your actually um, uh, professional domain, right? So if you have an email address like gmail.com, um, you know, whatever ex a business name at gmail.com, that's not very professional. I recommend you to simply invest. It doesn't, doesn't cost much uh, nowadays, right? Um, to invest and get a professional email done, um, whatever is for your, your business name. Uh, again, why? Because obviously you want to see yourself professional as a business owner. So all you do is basically put the name of your business. Um, and then once you go from next, from there, what you do is, so let's see how to set up Google My Business. You can Google information. And I'm sure you're going to find lots of different guides and um, etc. So let's just go through here one real quick. So create an account and claim your business, right? We already talked about putting your name. Then go next. Then put the, the where are you located? Um, if you want to hide your address because you provide service, um, then you can do that by checking that. I will not recommend you to do it. Trying to trying to do whatever you can. If you provide like a service. Um, Try to find a co or what they call co worker space, right? Um, if they offer that service where you can list your, your business in there, or if you don't care about having your home address listed, listed as well, right? And the reason why, because Google now, what is happening is um, they are emphasizing more into 
uh, local, right? Uh, or, or proximity. So the closer somebody is searching for something is to your business, the higher chance you have in appearing um, on top. So for example, what's a service? Uh, so for example, let's put post pest control near me, okay? Um, this is a very competitive, as you can see, there's advertising over here, there's advertising over here. Uh, but here you can see the local ones, right? You can see that um, the reason why Google prefers to show me this, um, you know, like Duncan Mouse, because they actually have a location that seems to be closest to me. Uh, this one doesn't have location. So it may not, it may, it may not appear as a second location for other people depending where they're located. Uh, this one, it does show close to me. There's a soon. They actually have uh, listed just the city, right? Not the specific name. Um, and then this one doesn't even have anything. So again, the, 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 the more information you have, the better. Oh, this one does have the information. Sorry, my bad. Uh, this one's a soon. Do, they do have the information. This one, they don't. They just have the city name listed. Um, so the more information you provide in, the, in regards to the address, the better, because uh, then Google will understand how close that business is for me to me, and the higher chance you you have to be one of the first one. Obviously, other 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 things matters, right? Like the um, how many stars you have. Uh, this one, the only reason why it has more stars and more reviews, and it have about the just about the same review, but probably because they are, they are the, because of the fact that they are a little bit farther away, uh, it shows it on this order. It shows further away from me, it shows it in this order. So um, you know that's why distance actually matters. So if you can put your actual physical address uh, when you go through setup, uh, you should go ahead and do so. Um, Deliver area. So if you do an area services, uh, you can put how many, uh, you know, specific region, city, or postcode. Postcode, or if you uh, rather just do a radius, right, a specific distance from your business. Like if you do delivery, uh, put that area. Like how many miles out from your business. Um, choose the business category and spend some time in, in researching different categories uh, because that's important to understand to help people understand what your business is about or what your business is know what is uh, uh, know what they do right um, add your business phone number website etc and then choose a verification method I don't know why it says um, um, choose a verification method the only method I have seen is by postcard. I haven't seen for number, email, it's a verification, both verification. I don't know why those have those options. Maybe there's from some other type of services, uh, business that do have that. Um, but postcard is just the one that I've seen. Phone, I think I've seen a, a couple of times, but postcard is going to be the most popular one, right? So what happened is your listing is not going to be live until you verify it. And so one of the mo most common ways for your business to be verified is that the Google is going to send you a postcard. The postcard should arrive within five business day. And what happens is it's going to give you a postcard with a number that once you get that number, it's going to, um, uh, once you get that code, you basically go back to Google My Business and, and complete the verification by putting that code. Once you do that, then um, uh, you'll be able to uh, complete the information. So here, just talking about the different type of verifications. Did you talk about the postcard verification? Uh, postcard by mail. Um, it doesn't show that that a uh, picture of when that happens. But once that that is done, then you can go into the full dashboard access where you can actually set up more information like the hours, um, uh, see reviews, see information about the the how people are finding you the most. You know what words are they using to find you the most on the map or 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 or, or the search engine. Right, um, which is good data to have all that information. See, you can have, you can access the info section, the photos. You can add photos, videos. Uh, you can actually do posts as well nowadays. And I, I don't think this is uh, listed over here. Probably that was previously the post. It as well helps nowadays, right? Because it's a good uh, feature Google launch not too long ago. What they're doing uh, is basically um, they look into get that feature more and more. Um, 
promote it, right? And the way one one way to do that is uh, they continue to send you messages. Hey, businesses that that uh, post all the time have a higher chance to be noticed by customers, right? And so because Google right now is trying to push for uh, posts and pictures, then try to um, do that as often as possible. There are tools you can use to um, sort of help you with uh, schedule that uh, as opposed to having to do it all the time. So that's basically how you go and set up the Google My Business. Now, how to claim or add your companies and other important directories? I, I kind of show you that I, I, I already, right? So search, search for important directories in your area. Uh, for example, you can go to Yellow Pages and, and just follow the process, right? Um, look for somewhere where it says claim your business, right? Get claim your business, get, get listed for free. Um, coupon, right? You're going to go and look for the area where it's going to talk about if you are a business owner, right? So this is the the area where people can go and find uh, deals on Groupon. But what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to look, you're going to scroll down to the bottom and search for the area that um, uh, join Groupon Marketplace. Um, run a group of deal, right? Um, Groupon Merchant, right? Groupon Merchant, grow your business by working with Groupon. So Groupon Merchant is where it's it's that's the the location to to uh, uh, business owners need to go to start be, to be able to be listed and do deals and stuff like that. Uh, so that's what kind of what you're looking for. You're looking for areas where uh, within that website where your where you can see that it's ta it, it, it's an access for business owners. And so uh, Facebook for Facebook, what you need to do is you need to have a personal profile um, unless somebody else creates that page for you. Right. And if you're not if you don't have a personal profile, then you need to have somebody else create the profile for you. But what you do is you do not set your personal profile as a company because the only one uh, actual legitimate person people in, in, in as a personal profile that they may eventually might may shut you down people may complain people may fly you as a uh, not having the the correct not following the their policies and 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 why you're going to spend all that time and energy into building that personal profile when what you should have done the first thing place to avoid issues is just go to uh, my uh, building a business page so you can either go to facebook.com go to that little upside down menu um, go to manage pages and that's where it's going to allow you to create a page if you never created one uh, or just Google Facebook pages, right? Facebook business pages, uh, Facebook, Facebook business or whatever. And, um, and that's going to guide you through the process of how to create a business page. So those are some of the, uh, some of the few ways to, that you can do to uh, claim or add your company if, um, to other important directories. But, um, uh, how, you know, if, if that's a lot of work, how to automate your listing management process, then there's so many other resources for you, right? There's Yext.com that charges about $500. Uh, Manta.com, that's uh, another great resource to do that. Or you can simply uh, Google for, um, you know, digital marketing platforms for whatever digital marketing platform for whatever, for whatever industry you are located. And of course, you can always contact me to help you out with that. Um, uh, as a service. So how do I automate that your listings? Um, you know, just basically get somebody else to do it for you, right? Uh, or, or use tools to uh, do that process for you. And I'm sure if you Google, you're gonna find that. If I um, if I have more time, I'm gonna make a separate video specifically just for that to recommend some of the ones that I've seen out there. And and if I use some of the feature, I'll definitely let you know. Uh, but that's it for today. This this video went kind of long, um, so. Let's cut it off here for now. If you're ready to uh, get this to the next level, so one thing I would recommend you is to number one, click check below this video, right? To uh, join the Facebook group, right? Join the Facebook group group if you haven't yet. The reason why because that's where you can interact with me. Um, when I, whenever I go live, uh, come up with new trainings. That's where you can interact with the, me and the other, with the others in the group, right? Which could be other business business owners looking to attract local customers. So we can always brainstorm, right? Because um, uh, two or more heads put together, it's definitely think way more, way better than just one. And it's a support for to each other, right? We can learn from each other. What are others are doing? 
Um, other thing that I would recommend you is that if you are want to get more in the one-on-one type of situation, just click the button below to schedule a call so that um, we can look at your business in a, in a deeper way. All right, so have a good one until the next video.